You guys requested this. Today we're going to be doing an iPad Pro 2020 gaming test based on games that you guys recommended. So thank you for your feedback. And without wasting any more time, let's just jump into the gameplay here. But before we do, I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave a like on this video. Comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions as the YouTube algorithm likes that and will help push my videos to more people. And also, if you are a recurring viewer, be sure to push the bell icon and turn on all notifications. So this should be an interesting test to say the least, although the A12Z is very similar in performance to the A12X, if not identical, apparently Apple disabled some kind of GPU core in the A12X and uh, where they enabled it in the new chip. So maybe we'll see some performance gains. And also um, there is an additional two gigs of RAM across the board with the new iPad Pro 2020. So that might also mean something. But anyway, let's test out some games that you guys suggested in my community post. Thank you for all of your feedback. Um, let's open up Call of Duty Mobile. Uh, first of all, this is a very popular first person shooter on the App Store. And I do have an Xbox controller connected. So I will play as a guest. I'm not noticing too much of a performance jump from my 2020 iPad Pro because again, the A12X is so similar. But at the same time, this is a very, very smooth experience. And am I in a server by myself? What is happening? Oh no, I'm not. I'm just going the complete wrong direction. I got someone. This is, I'm so bad with the controller. I'm not gonna even lie. <laughs> oh my God. That was a massacre. Oh, either people are really bad or I'm playing bots. There we go. So yeah, this experience is great. I'm sure the hardware on this or in this machine is overkill for this game. And it's an absolutely buttery experience. I'm going to go on to PUBG Mobile, which I actually already have open. I'm going to lower the volume a bit here. All right, so I'm out of the plane now. So of course I fall into a field in the middle of nowhere in my underwear. But here we are. I'm going to run over to this house. And yeah, I mean, the frame rate looks fantastic. It doesn't seem like 120 FPS, but it's definitely high. I'm not seeing any stuttering at all, um, but I'll get into a little structure here. Oh, someone's just going to kill me. I'm just going to let it happen. Yep, just kill me. Yep. Th wh what is happening? Like this dude didn't even get... Okay, well, I'm just going to go into this house like nothing happened. Um, and um, yeah, within structures too. It's working great. Um, I'm going to pick up a smoke grenade and just throw it. This guy's gonna come back in here. <laughs> and, <laughs> and this is just, this is just happening, you know. We're just having a brawl. He's not killing me. Uh, really? I knocked him out. Oh my God. I'm just gonna continue to punch this guy. <laughs> and I killed him. I killed someone with my bare hands. That's how good I am. Anyway. PUBG appears to perform beautifully once again, just like COD on this device. Next up, we got Asphalt 9. This is another game you guys wanted me to play. So let's um, see what we can do here. Hopefully it does support um, controller. Don't care. I just don't, I just want to play this game. I, I just, I, come on. Yes, it does support controller. All right, so let me just move this up here a bit. Oh, so clearly this is not as free uh, as it may look like you can't like just drive wherever you want, but the graphics are just insane um, And as you can see here, it's running just fantastically on this device. I feel like I'm Trump fantastic beautiful It's just amazing. The iPad Pro 2020 is just it's just incredible. It's just a fantastic device As you can see here uh, even with these higher-end graphics it just looks great um, I love the lighting it looks like there's like ray tracing. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know but this looks like a modern game for sure. And uh, it appears to be running at 60 FPS, although I have never really played this. <laughs> okay, so that's a 360 move. Oh, okay. Yeah, guys, I'm not seeing any frame drops. These graphics just look so crispy. Although I kind of wish it was more like a free drive, like you could just kind of like steer the car more. This looks really great. Oh geez. Oh, oh God. There we go. That is Asphalt 9. And as you can tell, the hardware in this device is very well suited for this high end game. Next up, we got Mario Kart and this is a portrait game. So we're going to have to adjust. Choose your driver. Okay. Oh no. Actually, wait. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Not that I have anything against that character, I'm just Mel, you know. I don't really know a ton about Nintendo characters, to be honest with you. I'm gonna take the pencil off here because it's kind of in the way. So here we go. Um, pfft, I can't even steer the car straight. 
but I can drift. There we go. This isn't the most graphically demanding game I can tell. It looks just like something you'd be playing on your TV in like, you know, 2012 or whatever. Like this is what I remember Mario Kart being like on my Wii that I got when I was like 10. So yeah, uh, if you were interested in this game, it runs really nicely on here as you could imagine. That's the common theme with this device. It's so powerful. It can handle pretty much any app or intensive game found in the app store. Now, can it run Crisis? Can it run Battlefield 5? I doubt it. Cause like, I mean, the processor within here is similar to that of like a Core i5. But um, can it run iOS games or iPadOS games beautifully? Absolutely. And this is an example of that. This game, once again, isn't overly graphically demanding and I'm not seeing any stutters, any frame drops or nothing. It is performing at its peak smoothness, if you will. So yeah. Next up, you guys recommended Legends, Shadowgun Legends. So here we are. This also can support controller and I have not really dabbled with this at all. So mission control, okay. I am ready for more. Missions. Let me press A to continue. So, getting kind of COD-like vibes. I'm going to lower my volume a bit here. Hopefully just, oh, okay. Okay, so, going to reload. Shoot some more bad guys if I can even aim straight. Okay, so. Oh, damn, they do melee. Shoot. I'm gonna sprint over here, turn around. We're gonna get through this gate, I think, right? Destroy AA gun, where's, oh, okay. Well, that was destroyed. Impressive explosion animation there, as my teammates are trying to, oh, 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 that's, that's a bad guy. And that is also a bad guy. <laughs> and I am hip firing like an idiot. Um, yeah, I mean, this is more graphically intensive um, than COD, it seems like. There's a lot more going on. And it's running quite well. It stutters a little bit here and there. Like, this isn't like the smoothest experience I've ever had, like gaming on an iPad or a tablet. Maybe that's the controller, because I've noticed in some games that controllers can make the, just the overall camera look. I'll look a little bit weird, but actually, no, this is going to be, you know, not quite 60, maybe a mixture of maybe like 30 to like 60 FPS, somewhere in between, but it performs well, and it is definitely a playable, enjoyable experience. Next up, we got <laughs> Roblox, because why not? There's somebody out there that wants me to play this. I saw a couple comments, and uh, let's load this up here. Now I can say I've played Roblox. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. What is... What? No, I, I just... I just, okay, I, I just want to, oh, 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 okay, oh, well, all right, all right. oh, all right, uh, I, I just want to walk around, can I just walk around? Okay, so apparently, um, the camera toggle works with the controller, but you actually have to use your fingers to play this game, so, oh, oh, no, I'm in white, I'm in the void, uh-oh, hello, okay, so, you know what, yeah, we're just gonna walk around in this house, of course this game is gonna run well, how could it not, it could run on a potato, it could run on an iPhone 1, probably, it's a game that's probably less taxing than Minecraft, uh, yeah, this is, this is why am I doing this, so yeah, if you like Roblox, of course you can run this on an iPad Pro, silly. And guys, just now I realized that I forgot to run Minecraft and I can't go back downstairs because my dad is actually having a business call, I got kicked out of my workspace, but... What I can tell you is, is that it's no different from the iPad Pro 2018. I mean, like any iPad right now can run Minecraft really, really well, very, very smoothly. And of course, it's gonna be a great experience whether you wanna play it with a touchscreen or a controller. It's super enjoyable on pretty much any more modern iOS or iPadOS device. So no worries there. The experience, of course, is going to be just as good, if not better, with the newer hardware found inside this tablet. Next up, we got a game that's actually pretty dope. It's called Oceanhorn 2. A lot of people recommended this and wanted me to play this. It's an Apple Arcade exclusive, but the graphics are just really, really incredible. And um, let's continue on this journey here. I started this game a little early just to make sure everything was loaded in because... Unlike Fortnite, um, I wanted uh, this to work right off the bat during this test. So let's walk up here. Okay, so I'm gonna use the lever. Yeah, I'm not seeing any drop frames at all. Here's a little enemy that I can fight. Oh, I'm out of ammo, cool. I don't know how I can like block stuff, so that's not good. Oh no, oh, oh, oh. Well, now I'm down here, and they might even be more powerful. Yeah, they're more powerful. Oh no. Yeah, that's happening. 
It's I'm gonna get killed by this stupid turtle thing. It's happening. Oh no. Yep, it's yep. Bye. Goodbye. Oh, I killed it. Cool. Okay. Well, the next thing that comes after me is going to inevitably kill me. We're, I'm just gonna let it happen. Here we go. Hi, Scarabara. Kill me. It's okay. And then <laughs> I'm dead. So yeah, this game is pretty epic. And uh, I think it's a great example of how Apple is now optimizing their hardware um, for games, you know, like special games from Apple Arcade, just like you'd buy an exclusive game, of course, for your PS4 or your Xbox One or your PS5 now and your Xbox Series X coming soon. So uh, yeah, really impressive stuff here. I love the way this game looks. And of course, the theme continues. The hardware within the iPad Pro is more than good enough to run pretty much every game you can throw at it. Next up, we got Hot Lava, which is a really cool interactive game. I'm um, kind of like based off of like, you know, the childhood game of, oh, the floor is lava. You have to use like the accelerometer and you have to look around. So I can't really play it to the best of my abilities, but I can at least show the graphics and how they look and how this iPad runs this. So here you go, guys. Here's some graphics right here. I can show you as I pan around um, in this environment. You can see the lava on the ground and just all the objects on fire and the lighting. And this game, being an exclusive, looks really, really nice. And it's definitely fun. It's super interactive. I highly recommend you try out Apple Arcade just to try this game and several others too. I mean, like the titles in here, of course, are going to be good because they are exclusives. And of course, as they keep saying, the iPad Pro is more than capable of running a title like this. Our second to last game is NBA 2K Mobile. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I know nothing about basketball. Of course I can watch it and understand what the hell is going on, but um, to play a game like this, which uh, you know has to do with all this terminology and all other shit, like I, I, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be really bad. All right, so we're gonna play a game here. I have no idea what I'm doing, but hopefully I can at least just show you the graphics and how this game runs. So we get the Detroit Pistons, versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. And the only reason I know that sound is because of uh, a Viner or whatever, or somebody. So I think you can use a controller with this. So here we go, stuff is happening. Um, I don't I don't really know what. Um, oh, okay, so auto mode is now on. So we'll, you know what, we're just gonna watch it. I, I don't know what I'm doing. So we'll just look at the graphics here. We have individual people in the audience. Um, the lighting is pretty nuanced. We have some like reflections on the ground. The players look pretty good. You have sort of like a reflection of sweat on them. It's super crispy and it's, oh, so I should be doing something. Yeah, okay, well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you wanna play this game, if you know how to play this game, you should be very happy with the experience on here, especially with the controller too, because that allows you to sit back and actually look at what you're doing without like touching your screen and just kind of obscuring your view. And we're finally playing Fortnite now after it had to update and do a bunch of other annoying shit. Oh, fuck. Uh, so here we go. Can this just come on? Ugh. All right, so here I am in a server. This might just be like a lobby, but regardless, this will show us how this game performs. Um, yeah, it runs well. This is a very well optimized game, like you know how like Team Fortress 2 was on PC and is. Of course, it's going to run really well. And here we are in this hot air balloon thing. I've never ever really played Fortnite, so forgive me. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna jump out. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna be on this island, fuck it. We are, here's something shining right here. Let's jump over here. I got a gun, awesome. Let's try shooting that at somebody. Maybe I'll kill someone. Got him. Oh, okay, well, I'm out of ammo and I'm being attacked, great. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Come on. All right, well, I'm being left alone now. Oh, thank God. Where do they go? Now I'm invested in this game. I need to find where these people are at. Oh, sh Oh, f Wait. Oh, ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, no. Oh, f <laughs> I can't, I'm not gonna get him, because he's... Got him, there we go. So as you can tell, I am enjoying my time in this game. And we got this guy. All right, so I might be stuck in here for the remainder of the game. So in that case, I'm just gonna shoot my bullets randomly. So yeah, the gaming experience in Fortnite, stellar as you should expect. The hardware in here can handle this game. I've said that so many times about all these games, but that is once again, the common theme iPad Pro is an exceptional device in this regard. The hardware is just so ahead of other tablets and just mobile phones in general right now. And that's why I think they didn't really update the A12X that much because the A12X, 
was already amazing even two years later, even better in so many ways than the A13, especially in multi-core scores. This iPad basically has a quad-core i5 equivalent inside, and it really does show. And I'm really, really anxious to see where Apple brings the iPad Pro with a processor like the A13X if there is one, or an A14X, because maybe we'll see even more high-end or higher-end games on here like Battlefield or something. That would be the dream, to run like Battlefield 6 or whatever it is in the future on an iPad form factor. That would be just so dope. And that about wraps things up here. I hope this video was helpful. I guess the big takeaway is that you can throw pretty much any app at the iPad Pro 2020 with its A12Z and of course, the performance is going to be top notch. I really appreciate it. Once again, if you leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions. Comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.